Hey guys, how are we doing? My time to make a video again. It's been a few days. I've been uh, slacking off. I was a uh, little under the weather, caught a cold or something, and uh, it's hot and sticky out, and I just did not feel like going out in the garage. So I took care of some other things, and uh, today the weather's nicer. I'm nicer. <laughs> and uh, I got some stuff done. So I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the moped is all exploded and tore apart, and the uh, I started playing with that. Uh, white and blue VW bus, but uh, before I get to that stuff, I uh, had a visitor, Doug from Lake, Lakeside Ranch stopped by last week, uh, enjoyed the guy tremendously, if you haven't uh, seen his channel, you may want to go do so, he's a uh, uh, small engine guy, we'll say, uh, a little bit of everything, into uh, marine and uh, RC and boat and, uh, just, you know, a little bit of everything, and uh, my kind of guy, so we, uh, Hit it off really good. We uh, hung out for about four or five hours and uh, just shot the shit and uh, really enjoyed myself. I appreciated that. He also uh, brought over some gifts. We get ourselves a, a sticker that's going to go up on the cabinet. And uh, hook me up with a Milwaukee hat. And then he brought a couple of antiques over. I actually think I, I just got one of these in a yard sale not that long ago, and uh, I actually think kind of think that's cool. <laughs> As I trash it, it's patina, right? Um, I got two of these, and I may use these for uh, uh, twin carburetors for the uh, air filters. I think that'll come out really cool. And not that done, ye old gasoline can. Um, it looks like the 40s. With some paint on her. Ain't that cool looking. Oh, the light's not that good. There you go. That's better. So again, thanks Doug. I appreciate it and I appreciate your company. Welcome over anytime. Alright. On to the regular part of the show would be what the hell happened to the moped? <laughs> She'd be gone. And uh, it's all tore apart. It's doing a uh, unicycle look. And uh, we're going with red. It is uh, apple red, I think is the color. And there's the frame part, all painted up. I ended up uh, boxing all this stuff in, in the back, around the plate on top. That was all kind of open. I wanted to give some more strength to the back, because I also I moved the shocks for the back. So I just cut out a bunch of pieces. You see on the underside, just kind of close them up, and uh, gave us more strength. Is what I'm going for. And what else we got going on this thing? I even forget. I even forget from the last video what I showed you. <laughs> um, gas tank. I took that and I sprayed goof off on it at first they re it released all the stickers that were on it the tank was shot you know, if you guys remember in the other video it actually looked like hell and uh, then I took in the sandblast cabinet sandblasted it and then after sandblasting it I uh, hand sanded it with 180 I just knocked it down to 180 and then used that um, this stuff Rust-Oleum two times the cover paint and primer I was down to bare metal and I did paint it uh, without primer. We're going to see how this stuff holds up. I actually, I, I like it so far as long as the finish becomes a, a good durable finish. It, it's pretty glossy, you know. And I'm, I'm not picky on paint, but as you can tell, that's the rusty gas cap off the old tank. So I'll say, what did you do? You painted the cap. Yeah, I painted the cap, I painted the crappy one. Yeah, that's kind of a before and after. And uh, I did the floorboards over here. They're um, kind of the same thing. They're that plastic. And the stuff says it's good for plastic. So we'll see how that stuff holds up when I go to bend it. But that paint again is also supposed to be uh, kind of like one size fits all looking thing. Wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I didn't. Um, 
I didn't really cuff them up. I just kind of I cleaned them in the parts washer. Then I cleaned them with I believe just the glass cleaner, and then sprayed them down. So we'll see how it holds on to the plastic. I didn't I didn't um, sand it because sometimes you sand plastic, it releases something that's uh, oily and it doesn't want to stick. So we'll see how that goes. Could be a follow up. And on this guy, the blue bus is registered. And uh, I love the state of New Hampshire for twenty four dollars. Uh, you can register an antique vehicle, so that was complete. Uh, it's now in my name. And uh, put some plates on it. I wanted to go for a ride, but I, I know it wasn't quite running right. It was stuttering a bit. And uh, it's correct to believe it was running on three cylinders. And number two cylinder was um, skipping a beat. What I do is I take a. Um, I think I'll put a light on. What I do with the cap on it, everything in place. I just come right down with a with a test light. The other end of the test light is just grounded. I just I sneak right down inside the uh, the boots. It doesn't do any damage. And uh, as soon as the point gets close enough and, and it starts arcing to the light, it'll kill that cylinder. So that's how I know what cylinder was dead and number two was dead. So I pulled the plug out. I stuck a compression test there in there. It was at 75 psi. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I tried changing another wire and cleaning the plug, but it didn't do any good. And this motor is supposed to be new. And I have no reason to believe it isn't. Wait a look at inside. You can kind of see that's a, a really clean motor. But the problem is, let's see if I can hold my hand and do this. All right, that's where it should be open right now. Both valves are tight. So the problem in being is that we are uh, not. We don't have the proper valve lash. I got just the valves on this. At some point, I, I want to bring it in. I'll retorque the cylinder heads. You know, take the rockers off. You can retorque the, the bottom studs, and you can uh, readjust the valves. Do it all right. But for now, I just want to get it up and running, just so it's running on all four. I can buzz it up and down the road for now. So that's what I'm going to do, and that should cure that problem. If it didn't have any compression, then I would be concerned. It maybe it burnt a valve, but it had 75, and the valves are tight. So that'll take care of that. My junk drawer of uh, plug wires. <laughs> oh, and the uh, generator is up and running and all set. That uh, had a $25 carburetor come from uh, eBay, and I paid a dollar for the generator. So for 26 bucks, that uh, little Chinese guy is gonna go over to the cabin, and I'm gonna leave it looking all kinds of nasty and shitty in case somebody goes to steal it. They'll think it's a piece of shit. So, which it is, but you know what I mean. We're going to keep it ugly looking. We're not going to clean it. We're going to leave the cobwebs in it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, make it a little less desirable to want, you know. So. <laughs> it works. There's other stuff that's there that same way. All right, guys. Well, I'm starting to ramble. And uh, I already went and got myself dinner. And uh, we're having breakfast at the Champions. And W cream soda. Wait. Wait for it. You guys are gonna hate me for this. Just hate me. This steak and cheese. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, extra cheese. That. And afterwards, we got ourselves a little raspberry truffle. And then when I'm downloading the video, and I'm ready to go sleepy time, we're gonna finish it off with our three musketeers. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Take care.